Number 5. Get Out is a 2017 psychological thriller film directed by Jordan Peele. The story revolves around an interracial couple, Chris played by Daniel Kaluuya and Rose played by Allison Williams, who plan to visit Rose's family estate. However, upon arriving in the suburban mansion, Chris begins to experience strange occurrences. Despite the seemingly friendly attitude of the family, Chris discovers that the estate harbors dark secrets. As the plot unfolds, Chris realizes that there is a sinister conspiracy in the community related to race. In this community, some African Americans are forced into extremely unusual states and subjected to inexplicable experiments. The film unveils underlying racial prejudices and discrimination within society, presenting these themes in a chilling and horrifying manner. Georgina and Walter to help care for my parents. When they died, I couldn't bear to let them go. smoke in front of my daughter. I'm gonna quit. She'd take care of that for you. How? Hypnosis. I'm good, actually. Are you ready for this? I'm back in the beat. So look, I go do my research. Apparently, a whole bunch of brothers been missing in this suburb. But it's cool. Bro, how are you not scared of this, man? Couldn't see no brother around here. Chris was just telling me how he felt much more comfortable with my being here. Get out. Sorry, man. Get out! Yo! <laughs> Rose, we gotta go. Is everything okay? Rose, the keys. Just get the keys. I don't know where they are. Rose! Sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Sink. Mom, it's a terrible thing to waste. Terrible thing to waste. People are getting nervous. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. It's a terrible thing to wait. Number four. The Invisible Guest is a 2016 Spanish psychological thriller film directed by Oriol Paulo. The story follows Adrian Doria played by Mario Casas, a successful businessman accused of murdering his lover. Laura Vidal played by Barbara Lenny. After the incident, he hires the renowned defense attorney Virginia Goodman to help him. Adrian claims his innocence. But the situation is far from simple. The narrative unfolds through a night of questioning and recollection, revealing more complex layers and hidden truths with each round. As the plot progresses, the audience is guided through a twisted maze where the truth seems to constantly elude grasp. The Invisible Guest has received acclaim for its gripping plot, excellent performances, and unexpected twists. Alguien que lo descubrió nos hacía chantaje. En su declaración hay laguna, señor Doria. He dicho la verdad. Tenemos 180 minutos para volver a empezar. Muy bien. Quiere jugar. Pues juguemos. Tú no quieres perderlo todo, ¿verdad? Yo sé lo que vi. No me mienta más. Es una trampa. Esa mujer ocultaba algo. Y usted también. Nadie ha visto nada. Nadie sabe nada. ¿Qué le sugiere este puzzle? ¿Qué le sugiere usted? Number 3. Gone Girl is a 2014 psychological thriller film directed by David Fincher, based on the novel of the same name by Gillian Flynn. The story revolves around Nick Dunn played by Ben Affleck and Amy Dunn played by Rosamund Pike, a seemingly happy couple. However, on their fifth wedding anniversary, Amy mysteriously disappears, triggering a media frenzy. Nick becomes the focus of attention, and his indifferent and peculiar behavior raises suspicions. As the investigation deepens, revelations about Amy's past and the complexities of their married life come to light. The audience gradually discovers that the couple's relationship is not as idyllic as it appears on the surface. 
The narrative is filled with dramatic twists and turns, presented at different points in time, keeping the audience curious about the truth. Admirers. Whoever took her is bound to bring her back. I'm hoping you can tell me what this means. Want to solve Amy's treasure hunt? Huh? Seen this girl around here? Yeah, I remember her. I know you. I saw you at the volunteer center. I wanted to help. What she want? She wanted a gun. We are all scared, but we are all here now. I feel like something to be jettisoned if necessary. I feel like I could disappear. The hallmark of a sociopath is a lack of empathy. Amy lost a lot of blood in there, then somebody mopped it up. Why do they mop up the blood if they're trying to stage a crime scene? Whatever they found, I think it's safe to assume that it's very bad. I'd finally realized I am frightened of my own husband. I would show you, as if you're doing a deposition, what to say, what not to say. A trained monkey? A trained monkey who doesn't get lethal injections. She's going to eat you alive. You assaulted her? It's not good enough for you? I hit her? It's not even close! Absolutely not. I never touched her. We now believe Nick is involved in the disappearance of our daughter. Without a body, without a murder weapon, their only hope is a confession. You don't know anything yet? You need to tell me. How was your marriage, Nick? Are you asking me if I killed my wife? Man of my dreams, this man of mine may kill me. What about my son, Nick? This man may kill me. In her own words, this man may truly kill me. You ever hear the expression, the simplest answer is often the correct one? Actually, I've never found that to be true. Number two. Knives Out is a 2019 crime mystery film directed and written by Rian Johnson. The story unfolds in an old mansion where Harlan Thrombey, a wealthy crime novelist, is found dead during his 85th birthday party. Renowned private detective Benoit Blanc, played by Daniel Craig, is hired to investigate, suspecting foul play involving members of the family. Each family member becomes a potential suspect and blank with his keen intellect. Gradually unravels the motives and secrets of each character. The film is characterized by its intricate plot, unexpected twists, and elements of dark comedy, keeping the audience curious about the truth. The film successfully blends classic crime mystery elements to deliver a captivating whodunit story. Death, you mean if someone killed him? You think one of us, one of his family, Walt, Walt. killed him. Mr. Blanc, I just buried my father who committed suicide. Why are you here? I suspect foul play. I have eliminated no suspects. Harlem was cleaning house. Everyone in the family has possible motives. Was Harlan planning on cutting off Joni? Did he plan to fire Walter? Is Richard having an affair? That's some heavy-duty conjecture. Funny, Ransom, you skipped the funeral, but you're early for the will reading. Up your ass. Very nice, oh, Ransom. 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 You gotta do this more right. often. The family is truly desperate. When people get desperate, the knives come out. This is a twisted web. And we are not finished untangling it. Not yet. For the big reveal. All of them lied to me. There is one guilty party behind it all. You know something. Spill it. Oh my god. Tell me what happened to my grandfather. I think you have something you want to tell me. Number 1 The Prestige is a 2006 science fiction thriller film directed by Christopher Nolan. Adapted from Christopher Priest's novel of the same name, set in 19th century London, the story revolves around the intense rivalry between two magicians. Alfred Borden played by Christian Bale and Robert Angier played by Hugh Jackman. Initially friends and colleagues, their relationship takes a dark turn as the competition between them escalates. The film delves into the art and science of magic, exploring the pursuit of perfection and the sacrifices made in the process. The protagonists engage in a gripping battle, employing various clever and seemingly impossible magic performances while revealing a series of Unexpected plot twists with its non-linear narrative and intricately designed plot. The movie keeps the audience immersed in an unpredictable maze, tackling themes of competition, 
The quest for excellence and sacrifice. The magic trick consists of three acts. The first act is called the pledge. The magician shows you something ordinary, but of course, it probably isn't. The second act is called the turn. He's obsessed with discovering your method. The magician makes this ordinary something do something extraordinary. Huh. Now you're looking for the secret, but you won't find it. That's why there's a third act called The Prestige. This is the part with the twists and turns, where lives hang in the balance. Julie, come on! And you see something shocking you've never seen before. This was built by a man who can actually do what magicians pretend to do. Real magic. I know what you really are! How does he do it? You want the truth. Nothing is impossible. No more secrets. Secrets of my life.